Hey, it's Clint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this website in just 10 minutes and for just $1. I'll also show you how to find thousands of free designs that you can use for your website. So the first thing we need to do is get a host, and we're going to be using Jackrabbit high-speed hosting uh, to create our website. And the reason we're going to be using Jackrabbit is because we want our website to be extremely fast. Uh, this host comes with everything that you need in order to create a website, so you don't have to worry about installing anything on your computer. Um, if you refer to people, you can get this for free. I'm going to show you how to get started for just a dollar, so you can get your domain and the hosting for just a dollar. And on top of that, it's got awesome reviews, it's got great support, and it's by far my favorite host, so I know that you're going to be happy with it as well. So to get started, scroll down to the search domain bar and create a new domain for your website. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to call mine makeasiteinminutes.com. You can use whatever you want, just make sure that you keep it simple so that when you tell people about your website, they'll be able to remember it. So mine's going to be make a site in minutes .com. Um, there's all kinds of TLDs that you can choose from. Uh, I'm just going to keep it simple and go with .com. And I'm going to click on search domain. Next, make sure the register a new domain is checked and then click on continue. This little window is going to tell you if your domain is available or not. If your domain is taken, just click on the X button and then try a new domain. Since my domain is available, I'm going to click on continue. Under setup, we're going to install a WordPress website. So next to install, select the drop down arrow and choose WordPress. Then create a username and password. You can use anything you want. Leave the directory blank, then click continue. Domain privacy, this is going to keep your domain registration information hidden when people look up your domain in Whois. Since all of this information is free to the public on my website anyways, I usually don't check this, but if you'd like to use it, you can go ahead and check this by clicking the little bubble right here. Um, keep in mind that this does not qualify for the discount. I'm just going to leave this unchecked and click continue. Okay, so here on the checkout page, you can see that our total due is $22. We're going to knock that down to $1. So scroll down to the bottom of the page, and inside the promotional code box, type in $1 with no spaces. And then click on Validate Code. And you can see that our total due is now $1. So next, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to fill in all our details. Um, you can see here we're going to enter another password. Keep in mind that the password that we entered before is going to be the password for your website login. This is going to be the password for your Jackrabbit login. So go ahead and fill in all your details, scroll down to the very bottom of the page, click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service, then click on check out. I'm going to pause the video while I fill in my details and check out, and if you'd like to follow along, you can pause the video and do the same. Okay, so once your order was successful, it's going to bring you back to the order confirmation page at Jackrabbit. Um, it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a few hours for your domain to propagate, but once your domain has propagated, your website should be live. And to check to see if your website is live, all you need to do is put your website in the domain bar at the top. So I'm going to go to my new website. And as you can see, my website is now live. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the title of your website, the tagline, the sidebar. I'll show you how to add pages and posts, and I'll show you how to change the entire design of your website in just a few minutes without coding. This is really simple. So in order to edit our website, we're going to go to our domain backslash wp-admin. So in my case, it's going to be makeasiteinminutes.com backslash wp-admin. This is the login panel for our WordPress dashboard. And since we're going to be using this page a lot, I suggest you bookmark this page. So to log in, you just enter the username and password that we created when we set up our website. And that'll take us to our WordPress dashboard. First, we'll update the title and the tagline of our website. So on the left-hand sidebar, go to Settings and click on General. And here you can change the site title to the name of your website. So mine is going to be Make a Site in Minutes. And the tagline is usually a brief description about your site. So I'm just going to put the easiest way to build a website. And 
And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Changes. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to create posts. So in the left-hand sidebar at the very top, click on the Posts link. And on this page, you're going to see a list of all the posts that have been created for your website. Uh, right now, we only have a default WordPress post. So instead of adding a new post, we're just going to go ahead and edit this post. So underneath the Hello World, click on the Edit button. And you can title this whatever you'd like. I'm going to put my first post. And in the text box, I'm just going to paste some placeholder text that I've copied earlier. And here at the top of the text box, you can see it's just like a normal word processor. You have different formatting options. So for example, if I want to put quotes around something, I can just click on the block quote button at the top after highlighting the text that I want to put a quote around. And then here to the right, I'm going to click on update to make my changes live. Next, I'm going to add a new post. You can do that either by clicking on the add new button here, the add new button underneath posts in the sidebar, or you can just click on posts and then click on add new at the top. And for the title, I'm going to call this one my second post. And then I'm just going to paste the text that I copied earlier. And here I'll show you how to add a picture. So first you want to put your cursor where you want your picture to show up. I want mine to show up at the top of my post. So I'll just click at the very top of my post and then I'll click on add media here above the text box. And then I'm going to upload a file from my computer. So I'll click on upload files at the top then select file and then I'll find the picture that I want to use and I'll open it. And once it's done uploading, just click on the insert into post button here on the bottom right. And then you can format your picture by clicking on the picture and choosing the different formatting options. I'm going to align mine to the right. And then I'll click on publish to make my changes live. Next I'll show you how to add a page. Pages and posts are very similar. I'll show you the difference here in a second. But to add a page, all you need to do is click on the pages link here in the sidebar. And we're going to go ahead and edit the default sample page that comes with WordPress. So under the sample page, I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to call this about me. And of course, down here, you can put something about you or about your website. But for this example, I'll just keep it the same. And to the right, I'm going to click on update to make my changes live. And then I'm going to add a new page. So I could either do that by clicking on the Add New Link here at the top. I can go to Pages in the sidebar and clicking on the Add New Link under Pages. Or I can click on Pages in the sidebar and click on the Add New button here at the top. And then this page I'm going to call Contact Me. And then of course in the text box I'll just enter my contact information. So for example, contact info. And you'll notice that when you hit return or enter, it'll space you down twice. If you want to space down just one time, hold down shift and push enter. And then here I'll put my phone number. And you can add all the information you'd like. I'm just going to keep this simple for this example. And I'll click on the publish button here to the right to make my changes live. And next I'll show you how to change your website sidebar. So to do that, hover over Appearance in the left-hand sidebar, and then click on Widgets. And the widget area is the sidebar of our website. So you can see that we have search, recent posts, recent comments, categories, recent posts, archives, and meta as our default widgets. We're going to go ahead and edit those by dragging and dropping them. So we can drag the widgets we do not want out of the sidebar and just drop them in our available widgets area. And you can find the widgets you want to use and drag them into the widget area. So for example, I want to put pages, categories, I'll put recent posts, and I'll put a calendar. This is automatically going to save when you're done dragging and dropping, so that's all you need to do. Next, I'll show you how to change the appearance of your website. So to do that, just click on the Appearance link in the sidebar. 
And here you'll find your installed themes. And these are the three default themes that come with WordPress. The 2015 is activated by default. Since we want to install a brand new theme, we're going to click on the Add New button here at the top. And here you can browse through thousands of free designs that you can use for your website. So you can order these by Featured, Popular, Latest, or you can go into the Feature filter and you can sort them by colors, layout, features, and subject. Or you can search the themes by keywords. So for example, if I wanted a sleek blog, I would type that here. And then when you find a theme that you like, you can hover over that theme and click on the Install button. And then click on Activate to activate your theme. And to go to our website to see the changes we've made, we can click on our website title in the top left. And this is the website that we've just created. Here at the top, you can see our title. Underneath the title, we have our tagline. In the menu bar, we have the About Me page and the Contact Me page. And here on the blog page, we have our posts. In the sidebar, you can see our widgets, the search widget, pages, categories, and calendar widget. And the difference between posts and pages, posts are going to be updated on your blog page in chronological order. So when you create a new post, that new post will always appear at the top. So you can see my second post is at the top and my first post is at the bottom. Pages are always going to stay the same. So if I click on the About Me page, you can see that this is a static page that will always remain the same unless you go in and edit it. And then we have our Contact Me page. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to turn this into more of a modern, traditional website rather than just a blog. So to do that, click on your website title in the top left. That's going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard. And we're going to click on Appearance in the sidebar. And then we're going to add a new theme. And then I'm going to go to the popular list. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to install the Zerif theme. And then I'll activate the new theme. And then I'll click on my website title in the top left. And this is our new website. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are no posts on this website, just a bunch of different elements that you can edit. And in order to edit the themes options, there are two different ways to do it. You can either click on the customize link here at the top of the page, or you can go inside your WordPress dashboard, click on appearance in the sidebar, then click on edit theme. I'm going to show you how to use this customize button. So while you're previewing your website, you can click on the button. And for example, if I wanted to edit the logo of this website, I can come down to General Options in the sidebar, click on General, and then I can select the logo from my computer. So I'll click on Upload Files, Select Files, and then Find the Logo, and click on Open. And then at the bottom right, I'll click on Choose Image. And if I wanted to change this header, at the top of my page, I can go back to my different theme options. I can come down to Big Title section, and I can change this to something like Learn How to Create This Website in 10 Minutes. And then, of course, you have more theme options. If you click on the back button, you can see a whole list of the options that you can change on the front page. Depending on the theme that you use, you're going to have different options. So I'm going to click on Save and Publish. And then I'll click on the X button to go back to our theme. You'll want to edit your menu at the top. And right now I have the About Me and the Contact Me page. So to edit this menu, we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Go down to Appearance. Click on Menus. And WordPress will automatically create our default menu as we create pages until we save the menu. So in order to save this menu, we're going to click on Create Menu. And now when we create a new page, we're going to have to add it to our menu. For this example, I'll add a blog page to my menu. So I'm going to have to create the blog page first. So I'm going to go to Pages and click on Add New. And I'll title this page Blog. 
For the blog page, I can leave the text area empty. I'll come down to the template and I'll select blog. And then I'll click on publish. Then I need to add this page to the menu, so I'm going to go back to Appearance, down to Menus. And here to the left, you can see my blog page has been added. So I'll check the box next to Blog, and I'll click on Add to Menu. And that will add the blog to the end of my menu. So if I wanted to put my blog link next to my home link, I can just drag and drop it. If you want to remove one of these items, you can just click on the drop-down box next to the item, and then click on the Remove link. I'm going to keep it like it is. Make sure that the primary menu is checked and click on Save Menu. Okay, now I'll go back to my site. And you can see our new menu here at the top. So I'll click on the blog page and here are my posts. I can click on the About Me page and we can see the page that I created earlier. Same with the Contact Me page. And finally, I'll show you how to use plugins. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And in the sidebar, click on the plugins link. And plugins are basically add-ons for your website. So for example, there are plugins that can turn your website into a store. There are plugins that will help your website with SEO. There are plugins that will add a photo gallery to your website. It just depends on what you want to do with your website. But one of the reasons why WordPress is so powerful is because there are thousands and thousands of free plugins that you can use for your website in order to make your site do whatever it is you want it to do. If you look at our plugin list, you can see the two default plugins, Akismet and Hello Dolly. The Akismet plugin is going to keep spam out of your website, and the Hello Dolly plugin will just add inspirational quotes to your WordPress admin. So if you wanted to add a new plugin, all you need to do is go to the top and click on Add New. And this is very similar to looking for a theme. You can see that we have different categories featured, popular, recommended, and favorites. If you go over to search plugins, you can type in a keyword. So for example, if you wanted to optimize your website for Google and for Yahoo, you can look for an SEO plugin by searching for SEO. And that's going to bring back a list of plugins. So for example, if you wanted to use Yoast SEO, you can click on the Install Now button next to the Yoast plugin. and then click on Activate Plugin. And that's basically how to search and install plugins. And if you wanted to deactivate or activate a plugin, you can also do that from the plugin list. So that's just a basic overview of the plugins to help you get started. So there you go. That's how to create a professional website in just a few minutes. Please hit like if this tutorial helps you out. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun with your new website.